Okay, here is the exe. Uh, when I double click the exe, um, number of records in the title table is uh, retrieved using the execute scalar method and it will get displayed uh, in the top of the form. So that code is written in the form load. So when the form displays, you will see number of records in it. I mean, a number of records in the title table of the pubs database. So the sample application is uh, displayed now. Here you can see total number of titles, uh, which is uh, 19. So this value is retrieved using the execute uh, scalar method of the command object execute scalar method of the command object and now we will display uh, a four important value from this uh, titles uh, table um, so as you see there is um, 19 titles and we are going to display four columns uh, on each uh, title so this will be a table of data so when I click uh, read or refresh, we use um, execute non-query. I mean, uh, it's not execute non-query, it's uh, execute reader method. And the execute reader will retrieve uh, table and columns of uh, data. Then we iterate through that execute reader and display the value read from the execute reader in this uh, multi-line uh, text box. So now we'll click uh, read or refresh and you'll see how that uh, iteration over the SQL data reader is working. So this is how uh, the data is read from the uh, title table. So the four column that I retrieved from the title table is uh, title, type, price and the royalty. Um, each record is divided inside this uh, equality operator. I mean, um, between these line, uh, I kept a single record, and uh, each record has uh, four column types. I mean, uh, four columns. So this is how we read from the SQL reader. Next, uh, you can change a title from uh, title type. I mean, uh, in this type, title type, from one value to another. For that, uh, we use the execute non-query, and uh, for now, I take trad cook as the value. So I'm changing the type from uh, trad cook to to some value. Then we will uh, put back this uh, TRAD cook there. Yeah. So I'm updating, uh, I'm clicking the update button. During this uh, update button click, um, execute non query method will get called, and that method will uh, try to update um, title uh, type from TRAD cook to XABU. Let me click the update. And if you see, it says the three rows affected. And uh, when I click uh, refresh, it will read again uh, those values uh, from the database. So that time you can see the trade cook got changed to a XABU. I'll click uh, read or refresh. I'll scroll down. You see, uh, the regular cards are updated. I will put back the demo DB to trade cook. So, leaving it uh, as it is. So, I am updating it again because it will be useful. Uh, when working through this Microsoft Supply database, when some of the example reads a uh, trade cook and the value got changed to Kabu, then it, the data got corrupted. So I'm 
preserving the database as it is when it is opened uh, uh, by this application. So I'm updating it back to thread myself. So before closing this, uh, I'll just say um, uh, during the form load we used the um, execute scalar to retrieve number of titles. And then using the reader refresh, uh, we pump a SQL select statement to the database and uh, we make a call to execute reader. Uh, execute reader method of the SQL command and retrieved value is uh, uh, gotten the SQL data reader. And then iterating to SQL data reader, the values are populated in this uh, text box. Next, we kept some uh, to single line text box. Uh, this will help to demonstrate the usage of execute non query. Using that execute non query, we are updating the uh, title type from one to another another type. But also, here we use the all three important methods of the SQL command. Uh, we'll see. Um, some other video in the SQL data type soon. I'm closing this video for now.